Once, there was a beautiful Pangarang girl named Widgel. She was of the black duck totem. Widgel was the best diver for mussels and the best hunter of small game in the rivers and creeks where her clan lived. It was because she had been such an expert at river food gathering that she met and hunted with a handsome young boy named Nanjari, who was of the water rat totem. They both loved the river, and over their time spent there, they both grew to love each other. But they were not able to let their clan know of their love, for it was against their laws for someone of the water rat totem to marry someone of the black duck totem. The wise ones of the clan taught that if two people of certain different totems married, their children would almost certainly be deformed. Anyone who broke this law would pay dearly. But Widgel and Nanjari were too much in love to obey the laws of their clan, and so ran off together and set to starting a family. They made a burrow in the side of the river, and so well hidden was it that their clan could never find them. Time went by, and Widgel gave birth to twins. She was so happy and filled with mother's love that she didn't care what they looked like. But Nanjari was horrified. The babies were not human. They were half water rat and half black duck, Nanjari wailed, We must kill them! No one can ever know! But Widgel stood over her babies and said, If you harm my babies, I will kill you myself. Then she showed to him a venomous spike she had, and she fitted one to each of her babies' legs, just in case Nanjari tried to drag them away. Then Nanjari fled back to the clan, saying he would not live with such a shameless woman. But when he arrived back at the clan and told his story, they were furious. They called a meeting, and Widgel's family demanded that he be punished, and Nanjari paid for his actions dearly. The elders decided that Widgel could keep her children so long as she kept them at the river. This would be a lesson so that all could see what happened when the elders' wisdom was not listened to. Widgel loved her children and taught them all of her diving and food-gathering skills. It did not bother her at all that they had the bill and feet of a duck and the body and fur of a water rat. They were her children, and she loved them. So you can still find Mullen Mur in the secluded rivers and streams, taught to survive by their loving mother, Widgel. And never try to grab them by the leg, for they still have the poisonous spike that Widgel gave them as babies.